Welcome back to Squeal's Gaming Channel, everyone. Today, we're gonna play some more Evil Dead the video game. We've got a free update that came out today. Brought with it a new single-player mission, and this beauty right here, the new witch demon known as the Plague Bringer. So she's got new minions, she's got a whole new skill tree. I'm not gonna break down every little thing, because a lot of the skills end up being the same as previous type stuff we've unlocked. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of her minions here in the gameplay, but that's her. The, that's the boss unit, I guess, but you know, she's got light and heavy units. Her main thing is a cauldron, which in summary, pretty much, uh, it can be destroyed, by, I guess, by survivor attacks, but uh, it pretty much uh, hinders the survivors, buffs her minions and her own uh, infernal energy, which is like what the demon uses to do any of their abilities or possessions and she's kind of all about infernal energy you can see she buffs her cauldron she infects uh survivors with blight which is like a sickness damage over time type thing um that's pretty much the summary of her there's also uh she's free but there were two new characters that were added part of the paid dlc we've got um david allen here and his sister Mia Allen from the Evil Dead reboot. Quick summary of this guy is he's pretty much, uh, he creates a safe space. He's another character with an aura, his beacon of hope here. He helps teammates with uh, their fear and uh, basically costs the demon more infernal energy to do things around him. So he's actually kind of a good counter to the new demons positive infernal energy buffs, whereas he kind of hinders that stuff. He's got the new nail gun weapon. Um, and yeah, he's just a good support class. Now his sister, Mia, she's kind of all about the fear. She has this ability she can do where her fear rises, but she's uh, basically immune to possession, so the demon can't possess her to make her fight her friends and she does more damage with her increased fear. Um, and once her this ability is done being cast, because this is her actual ability, uh, her fear will start reducing again. It's just while the ability is active, it won't reduce. Um, yeah, prolonged bleeding damage, and she's got a machete. So I think that's maybe another cool weapon to use. But that's pretty much all it for the new characters. If you go to, uh, those are all usable depending on if you buy the, the new characters or not. They're usable in multiplayer, but the demon is free for everyone. And there's also this new single-player mission, the sixth mission, which is going to be the main thing of this video. Weekend at Nobies, I guess that's how you say that. Um, in this mission, you start off by playing as David Allen, one of the paid characters, but in the, this DLC, or this mission, I should say, much like the demon, is actually free to everyone. You can play this mission just by downloading the update and logging into the game and you can test out David for free here even though you have to pay for him to use him in the DLC so it's still got us on the old map here but I'm pretty much just gonna dive into that now that I've sort of explained the new content I need you to swear that you won't Mia actually has two different outfits I should here. mention as well so if you buy the little pack that comes with them you get two outfits for The only uh, Evil Dead I actually really saw was the reboot, and at the time I was sort of slow, I didn't realize the uh, Evil Dead reboot was technically even uh, affiliated with the others at the time. I wasn't, I wasn't always an Evil Dead fan, I've kind of just slowly gotten into it over time, but there's still, I haven't seen most of the movies, and I think there's a show, so. But this game seems to be doing a little bit of justice to all of it, so that's pretty cool. These guys are a good developer. Seems like we always end up back in this house. I actually remember this from the movie specifically. You don't find a lot in the single player, but definitely learn that uh, what you do find, you pretty much just want to like lose as much as you can because you're always going to need it. This stuff gets a little tough. Sorry, I have no choice. 
got that amulet, which I could use. Alright, let's see what this is about now. got to go to the Misery Manor and look for clues, but that's optional apparently. The main objective is to search for clues at the Derelict Doll Factory. As always, I don't really want to stretch my health too much in a mission like this, but at the same time, the possibility of me getting more resources could also be worth it. So I guess to Misery Manor we go, which is behind me. Behind the house, really. I was kind of expecting this last mission to be on the new map, the castle, but uh, just using the first map, which uh, sort of kind of sucks because I, I did like the new map, especially with the driving around, there's far less destruction. But I'm just kind of happy to have all the content, to be honest. Finally doing the video for this and wrapping up the little story of this game. Psychos have nowhere to yeah. hide. So I got a flashlight. Couldn't possibly miss him. You would think. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. Because there's nothing in here but ammo, and I actually don't need that, surprisingly. A cola, could use that. A syringe? This might be. I think that's a new item. So. It's like it's replaced my, uh, my melee. Wow, double syringes. That's something else. Oh boy. And then we've got a note here. Let's read the note. I'm assuming these syringes are going to be available as a melee item in the uh, the regular game too. So you'll have the syringe melee weapons and the new nail gun for a ranged weapon. In addition to all the other new content, which uh, I wasn't even aware of that was being added to the rest of this. So, pretty cool. All right, I've arrived at Payne Manor. Um, as soon as I walked in this house, it's like telling me to find a way out or face the consequences, and I don't know how to get out of here, so it looks like I am facing the consequences. Might have been something upstairs, actually. I got some syringe, buddy. Brutal! 
Got him. Dang, that was intense. Definitely need to heal. The true flavor of Michigan. And he dropped his legendary sword, so all of a sudden these syringes just don't matter anymore. But I'm glad we got him included in the gameplay since that's a new uh, weapon. But this legendary sword's probably going to greatly help me out. And that's it for the side quest. Now, uh, back to the main objective. messed me up a little bit, but it also wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Got a bunch of resources from that. Really should be using more ammo to try and save some health now. Enough playing around with the melee weapons. <laughs> so, next objective is to search for new clues at the treatment plant. Alright, we have arrived. I think I can use the car for some of this, maybe. Yep, I am in the car. Haha. -ha. Again, that was a pretty good drop all around. I got a lot of healing items, so that's definitely going to help. Uh, and I can move on now. So, um, I guess my car, I didn't, wasn't paying attention. I guess my car got phased out or destroyed at some point. So, and I'm not going to go all the way back to get the one that I saw or that I passed on the way there. So, next objective's right over here. So, let's see what's going on here. Legendary syringe. <laughs> so we're back on that. That's awesome. Because technically the syringe has got a pretty fast attack rate. We've got a legendary chest here. Which, uh, legendary nail gun. Alright. No more playing around. And uh, there's technically another soda, which I don't need, but I'm going to go ahead and heal. Keep the chefs heal coming. Away. Okay. I'll pick it up. Let's see what this is. Got the item we needed. Mia's breathing, but wait, her eyes. That's not my Mia. Let's 
blood rain. Wow, you can barely kind of notice. Wow, legendary uh, nail gun and stuff. Distance here. Because that's the mission. Got the syringe, got the uh, the nail gun, got two new characters. Didn't get any Mia gameplay for that. You'll have to actually uh, buy the new little pack and try her out. But David also has a skill that we didn't get to use in the mission. So find out more about that in the multiplayer. This is Professor Raymond Novi. All right, so I'm not going to do a full play session. I'm probably going to chop this up a bit, but uh, doing a quick little multiplayer session. The following actions in order uh, using King Arthur, which I haven't had a full clip yet of me doing, so just kind of fun to bust him out again. But somebody, as you can see right in front of me here, they got Mia. So I might get to see a little bit of what she's doing from another perspective. And also, as you saw in the beginning there, uh, the new the person playing the demon has the new demon lady, so... That's who she'll be using. So we'll get to mainly see some of her minions. I shall fight we got like the mace here, souls. which was uh, an item added in the last update, so that's pretty cool. I'm mainly just curious at this point in the video to see the uh, the new light and the new heavy enemies that this uh, plague bringer has got with her. And technically, I don't even think they busted her out in the mission, technically. I was kind of expecting us to maybe fight some of these enemies in the single-player mission. I think some people have been having the difficulty with uh, me. getting the new content via the season pass. I thought it was supposed to be part of the season pass, but don't quote me on that, because there, there seems to have been some confusion online. I unfortunately, as far as this game goes, I've only been a freeloader so far. I bought the base game, but past that, I've just been uh, mainly coasting on the free updates and whatnot. So you guys will maybe have to let me know in the comments uh, what's going on with all that and if they end up resolving it, if it is in fact an issue redeeming some of your content. But I don't think that's been happening to everybody, obviously, because here somebody has their character. So. the first piece of my map. A small but strong step forward. Alright, so somebody found the first piece of the map and it ended up just turning me right around. But uh, here's the second piece. Uh, here's one of the minions. It's just uh, it's another type of skeleton, but honestly this guy looks uh, even cooler than the Necromancer skeleton. In the name of all that is holy. Alright, so we got our map piece. In progress. The survivors have collected another portion of the map. An admirable effort, but... There is still much to be done. Now we're off to Camp Greenberg. What a libation! Ooh, I got this explosive crossbow. I don't think uh, I've used this in gameplay yet. Uh, this is also the other item that came out in the previous update, so I'm just rocking a loadout from the Castle Kandor update. But I didn't get to use the explosive crossbow. Oh, and it looks like this is a heavy enemy. Oh, there's a couple of them. This is the new enemy. This new bog witch type. Whoa. They got teleports. This is different. Uh, looks like I may need help with my teammates here. Let's see how this goes. Explosive crossbow is not doing a whole lot. Like it's a ray, but it's still really cool. I like it. Bring 
it out. Survivors have gathered the final piece of the map. Make haste to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian deck. other than the little bit of focusing I did on the Necromancer for a previous clip. I don't really play the demon a whole lot in this game. Oh boy. My strength definitely lies with being a survivor, so probably won't do the gameplay of me playing as a demon, but she's definitely fun and I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, they added her to the game. Let me know in the comments too if you guys are going to be checking her out, if you guys are going to be playing as a demon, because we always need more demon players. Here's her cauldron, which is the one thing that I pointed out in her skills that I hadn't seen her use yet. So you can damage the cauldron, but it's definitely probably the best thing you can do, because this messes us up. And we got it. Get her. Swap out the crossover. Oh. 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 Get her. You hold the lost pages of the Necronomicon, the rarest, right, that. And most powerful artifacts. The team has retrieved the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger. All right, so we're to Use the point where we're now about to make the, the final push, go take terror. out the race. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the video right here since I kind of saw a little bit of everything I wanted to see, and you guys know how the rest of this goes. If you guys like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. That always helps me out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.